Hey, what's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another episode of my sound design series. And today we're going to be designing what I call the stab bass. Now, the stab bass is characterized by a really quick, snappy, or punchy attack. It, that's why it's called the stab. It has that kind of go, go, go kind of feel to it. And you might have heard it in a lot of modern drum and bass tracks. For example, producers like Ulterior Motive use the stab bass a lot and as well a lot of neuro and and kind of futuristic sounding drum and bass producers so we'll just get right into it and we're going to be doing this with massive however like most episodes what i'm teaching you here can be applied to pretty much any synthesizer okay so i'm just going to start with a simple waveform now you can actually design the sound with a multitude of different waveforms uh, but a good way to start is with the triangle, but we will cycle through some other waveforms so you can hear how it would sound. Um, so right at the start, we're gonna go into the voice section, turn on unison and bring it up to the maximum, which is six for massive. For serum, you have more and you're, uh, you're more than welcome to try more, it's just that with massive here we're limited to six so if you want more definitely go for it it'll just give you a fatter sound the fatter the sound the better for this kind of sound design so we want the width down to zero we want everything centered and then we're going to adjust the pitch spread accordingly so it still sounds like one sound we want to adjust this so that there isn't any phasing, but there's enough uh, spread between the pitch that it sounds fat. So around there sounds pretty good. Now since I'm limited to six voices in my unison mode, a way around that for Massive X is just to turn on another oscillator. So this one is currently all the way down. If we bring it all the way up, and let's change that to the sawtooth. Then you get a thicker sound. I'll turn this off so you can hear the difference. Okay, once your sound is sounding pretty thick, then we can move into the filter modulation step. So we're gonna click on the filter here and then bring our cutoff somewhere down here. So you only get the low frequencies. And the trick with this one, first apply your E2, which is envelope two, to cut off. And then bring the amount up. And you can already start hearing that stab effect. Now you can adjust the decay accordingly. That's, that's the secret button here. The decay determines how sharp your attack will sound. You don't want it too long, then it doesn't sound like a stab. Anywhere from a, a, around here, which is uh, around one o'clock, down to here, which is around 10 o'clock, sounds good. And of course you can adjust the shape of your decay here. So now, I'll sharpen the sound of the stab. Okay, now that you have the basic sound design steps for the stab, we can now try different waveforms. We can click here to bring up the wavetable menu. Um, some of the format uh, wavetables are pretty good. I'm just gonna turn off what um, oscillator two for now until we find a good one. Browse up. So we turn that oscillator two, bring that guy back. Okay, so we're getting there. Uh, the next step is to add some effects to really bring out the 
the stat. Now you can add some distortion here if you want. Uh, I'm actually going to jump right into adding some third party effects here. I'm going to pull out uh, Devaster. See how it's sounding more stabby you now. That's sounding pretty cool. Try changing oscillator too. Let's try maybe one of the monster wavetables. Yeah, that gives a harder kind of stab. Sounding great. Okay, the next step for a stab. Now this is optional. That I like to add some delay and reverb effects. So I'm just gonna pull out Ableton's delay. And then I'm going to turn off the sync here. I just want it to be adjusted by a time interval. I'm going to adjust my dry wet. I just want the, the delay to be just very subtle. And I'm going to increase the feedback a little. The delay kind of accentuates the feeling of the stab because you get that an uh, echo of the stab going. Now a neat trick is to turn off the sync of the left and right for your delay and then oh. this button will unsync the two uh, reverbs and then Make sure if you don't see the time, just click this button here to get time. Now, if they're a bit different, then you get slight fluctuations between the left and right, which gives you that stereo effect. Now, adding a reverb will bring out the stab even more, it's make it sound a little bit more expansive. Now, we just want to just a bit of reverb, around 5 to 10 percent, I'd say. There we go. Now remove all the low frequencies from the stat. Adjust the decay, length, the size. Okay. Now I have a pattern here. I'm just gonna... Um, and a beat here. Let's just hear how it sounds. Sounded pretty good so far. I'm gonna adjust with the, the settings of massive a little more to bring up the stab. Perhaps add some distortion on massive. Now I'm going to experiment a bit, add some additional effects. Erosion tends to bring out those kind of grimy um, harmonics. Yeah, I'm curious to see if what happens if we, if we add some serum effects. Now I think I should probably bring this over before the erosion and that, let's play with some hyper dimension. Uh, 
it's getting a bit extreme. A little more extreme, but it depends on the track you're making, right? So we're just experimenting here. Now, after some affecting, you're gonna lose some of the low bass frequencies. There's, I mean, there's there's two ways to go about this. You can bring the bass back, or you can cut the bass or the sub bass out all to get together, and then write a completely different um, bass line, or write the bass line with a completely different instrument, right? <laughs> So I'm just gonna take out the low end here and then I'm just gonna add serum and then I'm gonna choose a sine wave and then perhaps copy. So now I have that bass here. I can fatten up that bass. Maybe bring it down a bit. So this is without it. And here's with the sub. Okay, that's pretty much it. So that that's the stab base for you guys. Again, it's it's really just finding a waveform that you like. Start with the sawtooth if you want. Increase your unison mode up to the max or as much as you want, according to your taste. Uh, bring this width down to the center, so your sound is mono. Adjust the pitch spread of your unison mode, and then play with the filtering. Make sure you have a short decay so you get that stab effect and then from there you can add uh, distortion delay reverb the the possibilities are limitless here it's these are just the basics so you can get started writing a stab bass but you can definitely go get further with the sound design on the sound so hope that helps and i hope you guys have fun designing a stab bass let me know how you guys do in the comment and if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also let me know what kind of sounds you want to see in future videos. Until then, keep practicing and we'll see you at the next video.